day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the uh, our videos that we're sending. I'm going to continue to keep sending videos because I want to sit there and share what God is talking to us about. It's about studying the Word of God. We encourage you to do your own studies. But the fact is, that's what we're here to do. We, we want to get into the Word of God, study the Word of God, and see how it applies in our everyday life. That's what it's all about. How does this Word translate into our life? Because we're talking about scriptures, written with, with wisdom and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit 2,000 years ago, as well as uh, thousands, thousands of years prior to that when Israel took over and left Egypt. Uh, most people understand is that it's, truth is truth, no matter what season, what, what year, truth is truth. And this study we're talking about was talking about the uh, murmuring and complaining. And murmuring and complaining uh, about our situation instead of speaking into the overcoming of those things that we don't like. We, the children of Israel, those scriptures that we that you're going to see us read, it's going to show about the fact is that when the children of Israel, which we also will point out in this video, uh, is an example, is a sample of man, kind. And most people sit there and think that, well, you know, if that was us, I wouldn't do it. That That's, I don't think so. I don't think so, at least at the beginning of time. I think that he could have chosen any group of people and they would have did the same thing. People coming out of adultery, people coming out of bondage, people who were once held in, in captivity, now free, and then whether they, they still conform back to the place that they came from, or they form conforming to the image of the dear son. See, the thing about it is, there's people that sit there and, and, and will sit there and say, well, you know, you, you came from Europe, or you came from Africa, or you came from Cuba, you came from, from Asia, you came from China, you came from different places. And people will sit there, people, people, and, and that's all of us, will sometimes try to put people in a box and say, because you came from this group, that's how you are. Some people will sit there because you made a mistake and will keep them trying to say that this is how you are. I'm telling you, that is not how God has ordained you to be and not how God ordained me to be. God wants us to be renewed in our mind constantly to the image of God, transforming. Be ye renewed, right? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Transformed means that's a change, right? From what you or who you are to what he wants you to be. Now, as long as we want to keep holding on, the same thing about children of Israel, and we're talking about going through this wilderness and everything else. Every time things got rough, they wanted to go back to Egypt. I should have brought that out more into the scripture too, but what I wanted to bring out most in the scripture was their murmuring and complaining. In a lot of cases, they murmured and complained toward Moses and Aaron, but God took that murmuring and complaining toward him. And bring this up to 2020 your circumstances where you are or what happened to you in your past and anything that somebody did to you that's wrong are you still murmuring and complaining about those things or are you complaining about the job that he blessed you with that you asked for are you complaining about the car that he gave you are you complaining about the house are you complaining about the bills that you have that God gave you the ability to acquire the things that obviously these bills came from. Well, think about it. So is it possible that our murmuring 
of our circumstances is what's keeping us in our circumstances, opposed to our saying, Lord, I thank you that you got this situation under control. Lord, I thank you that you're going to give us the victory. Lord, I thank you that I already have the victory. Lord, I thank you that you'll never leave me nor forsake me. You will give me the victory. I'm just saying, are we speaking more to give the problem strength instead of the victory to give God the strength in our life? The joy of the Lord is our strength, not our complaining, not our sadness, but the joy of the Lord is our victory. So I'm going to sit there and, 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 and I'm going to use this. This is this video we just had. This is on the 17th of May. And you know what? I, I, I'm, one of the things about trying to do the videos, uh, I, I, I break them up because obviously we talk for a long time. And that's good. This fellowshipping and the word, getting into the word and trying to uh, deal with the things that's going on in this world. That's fine, but it is long. So therefore we do break them up. I go part A, part B, part C. And, and, and so, the introductions I try to give is try to give us a synopsis of what we talked about. And I may sit there and use this uh, intro, this commentary throughout each of the segments because all the segments, this is wrapping the fact is, are we murmuring, complaining? And is that really messing up our blessing? Because if we're murmuring, complaining to against God, is that messing up our blessings? Yes, we got issues, but are we including God in the answers? Or are we sitting there saying, why you give me, why you give me this wife? Why you give me this husband? Why you give me this house? Why you give me this car? Why you give me this job? Why you give me this, 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 these children? Opposed to saying, thank you, Lord. Bless me with a nice home. Thank you for blessing me with a car. Thank you for blessing me for, with these children. Thank you for blessing me for this lovely wife. You can say this, Lord, thank you for blessing me for this nice husband. Because you want, know I'm going to tell you something. If you keep looking at somebody else's life, you will find out, you'll be like, Lord, whoa, whoa, whoa. That ain't that bad. You're right. You're right. There's some people that have some bad things and you're sitting there thinking that they have it. And you, you, if you had what they had, a lot of cases you'd be crying. So, so start appreciating what the Lord has given you. And I'm not saying be content to stay there, but be content in the fact is that I thank you for what you've given me. I thank you for what you're blessing me. You give me this day. I like the fact my mom said, this is the day the Lord has made. I rejoice, be glad in it, hallelujah. There's some people that don't have this day. Or there's some people who have this day, but they can't get out of the bed. Or they're sick. Or they're crippled. There's some people that had some bad days. But you made it through your day. Give God praise for the days that you that he gives you. Pray your way through the wilderness. Because there's going to be a lot of wilderness that you're going to have to pass through in life. And the question is, are you going to murmur and complain every step of the way? Or are you going to praise God for the victory to get you through? I say we praise God for the victory to get us through. Amen? All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I may do it again. The same commentary may go on the next one. It may not. We'll see. But anyway, I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to listen. And uh, feel, feel free to join us uh, anytime. You, I put the slide up there, the, uh, the conference room. We start around 8. You can say 8.15 if you like. Uh, but we there and do it by 10 o'clock. So you can, if you, you don't have to join in exactly at 8, you can join in at uh, 8.15, 8.20, 8.30, 9, 9.30. You know, Tim, we're going to start wrapping it up. But God bless you. You just showing up and still blessing us too. And if you got a word of encouragement, give, give it to us. Amen? All right. So I hope you enjoy our videos. And I hope you keep coming and watching them. And guess what? Ain't nobody getting paid for those. We're doing it because we're getting a blessing from the Lord. And you're blessing if you participate as well or just observe it. Amen? At least from my perspective.
So, all right. God bless you, and I'll check you later. Bye-bye. Interesting to keep reading the rest of those scripts that goes with it, Elder, uh, Brother Addison. But I, I cut them all. Uh-huh. But I'll explain to you what, what came after this, this part. But my focus was dealing with the man and how Jesus responded to the man. All right? Mm-hmm. But there was some other part that came after that with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. But, but go ahead, uh, Brother Jackson. Okay. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Yes, sir. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, would thou be made whole? Now, now, my brother Addison, I know you know the story. All y'all know the story. That, that brother, brother Jackson, he's asking him a question. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like yeah, it, is, it was a rhetorical question, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was basically <laughs> like, hey, look, do you like your situation? I know you don't. <laughs> you don't really have to answer it, because I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> but will thou be made whole? All right? So how about this? How about this? As parents, have we actually asked our children a question, knowing that on the surface, the question seems to be one thing, but actually, the question goes deeper. And it seems to me oh, that's yeah. what Jesus was doing here. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, it seems like, yeah, okay, obviously the, the infirmity that the gentleman had seems to be the obvious answer. But to me, it it, uh, it almost is saying, okay, again, if I'm going to apply this to my life, when I'm in the situation that I'm in, and like Brother Addison, you were saying earlier, when God says something to you, okay, what is he really saying? Uh -huh. And so that's kind of what I get from that scripture right there. Yeah. But you know, the, the, I think you're addressing though what you see the cat child is asking for first, because that's the best thing you can do, right? I mean, if, 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 if the child is hurt, will I be making, can I pick you out and dress that wound for you, right? Now, there's some things that they're not gonna tell you. And I think that's the same thing God is saying too. If you're not bringing this to my attention, if you're not, if you're not asking me for this deliverance, mm -hmm. what, what that means you must be okay with it. <laughs> now I want to do the best for you, but you're not even coming to me. Mm -hmm. And that thing, same thing with a child, right? I can only address what is presented to me. Mm -hmm. Right, I, I hear you. I and hear in this you. case, this case though, this was very clear cut. Will thou be made whole? Mm -hmm. Now, read, read what he said. All right, starting in verse 7. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day, was the Sabbath. Now, now you see that Jesus didn't even entertain the problem, Brother Addison. Because that's what the man gave, wasn't it? Yeah. He asked the question. He said, will I remain whole? Your response was, well, you know, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sure. Right. Huh? 
right. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to show you that that's what we do. We sit there and, and try to come up with reasons instead of the answer. Yeah, I want to be whole. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess we can't say it. Yeah. When I yeah. use it, when I use the, uh, your, if you sit there and say your background, is it your background holding you up or do you want to go, do you want to go forward or you want to let your background hold you up? You, you, you came from, you came from Hopewell, so you know, you, you, you can't go no further than what you are. Huh? Now, y'all know Hopewell is, but the rest of y'all I'm saying, y'all came from Warner Robins, y'all can't go no further. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the point. I think he's trying to say, Jesus said, I am not interested in what's holding you back. I'm the one trying to give you a solution. Amen. Right? I, I, I can't, you can't, you can't, uh, like, for example, sin. <laughs> Brother Jackson, you can't change the fact you sin. True. Jesus said, I'm not interested in the fact that you sin. I, I, I'm asking, would you like to be saved? Amen. <laughs> ah! I hear you. Woo! Look, look <laughs> at where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. God, is, God is saying something to us. Mm-hmm. And all we need to sit there and start realizing, if I'm messing my blessing up, right, through my murmuring and my complaining, right, and and, and uh, the rest of that scripture was telling you about the they complained that the man was healed on the Sabbath day. Is the rest yeah. of those scriptures talking about? <sighs> yeah, they went through. They went through all their little, you know, all they lost. <laughs> You, no, they won't heal in them. That, 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 they were, that man been there for a long time. In fact, the way they said it, it was like they wanted the man to be maimed again. Exactly. They said, come back. They, they back. wanted him to, to, to go back to his former self just because it was the set. Exactly. And he did that same thing with that woman one time. It was... Uh, had issues, infirmities, she was bent over. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and he asked, is it, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day or not? And because the answer was complaining. Yeah. You, are, we, are we trying, is there a theme here or not? <laughs> is this something in our own minds that we're sitting there and we're looking at the problem instead of the solution? Right. That's that's what I'm trying to come from on that. And now I want to show you the story. We might get to a brother. No, no, I can't. I won't get to the story. Now let's get to our, the, the scripture dealing with idolatry. Warn against idolatry. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And, 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 and now, Elder, you what? Elder, you there? Elder Johnson, did we lose you? I think we lost Elder. So, 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 Brother Asif, we're gonna have to share. Y'all gonna share this story? Okay. And uh, let, let, why don't you give us one through four? Okay. First Corinthians ten one. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now, now what you're talking about is the children of Israel, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Cause, and I want y'all to know that the children of Israel it's just an example of us. That's right. I, I, I just want to make sure if, if anybody has any doubt that they could have did better than the children of Israel, uh, I, I, I think you deceived. You know that? Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus, I mean, God chose the children of Israel as just a sample of mankind. Now, now, go ahead, Brother Jackson. Read uh, 5 through 7. But with many of them, God was not well pleased. Uh 
uh -huh. they were overthrown in the wilderness. Wow. Now these things were our examples. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. To the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Wow. Neither, neither be ye idolaters as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Now, that, you remember last week or a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about it, it was on that mountain after they told Jesus, they told God, you, you, you let Moses go talk to you. You let Moses go talk to you. And right. then, then when Moses went up in the mountain for 40 days, they just said, I don't know what happened, Moses. I don't know what happened, Moses. Don't have to Moses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they talked to God, but they put it on Moses. And then they, they decided to get a golden calf. Right. And they want to eat and play. And I'm saying is that that sometimes is the fact is that they were overthrown in the wilderness. Huh? They was overthrown in the wilderness because they lust after the wrong things. Mm -hmm. You know, Brother Addison, they, 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 they focus on the wrong thing. And sometimes we may focus on the wrong thing. And, and right. that also to be overthrown or held back in the wilderness. Amen? Amen. Go ahead, uh, Brother Addison. I guess you take 8 through 11. All right. Neither let us commit fornication, as uh -huh. some of them committed, well, and fell in one day three and 20,000. Now, now, look. Lot talking of about people, COVID. I know, I know it. Yes, That's a lot of people, ain't it? Hey, look. The thing about that one, when people make sure they understand this fornication is not talking about the sexual. They're talking about dealing with uh, other gods and stuff, right? Yeah, Basically, putting another I, I, God before God. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Now, that was we talking about that fiery serpent, yeah. right? But yeah. This, yeah. That, look, look at this thing. It said, little let us not tempt. Well, Christ, huh? The yeah. Lord, well, <laughs> and some of them, what? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What applies yeah. to them applies to us now. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that, you see, I was I was taking off of my ignoring his name, or he knows your name, mm -hmm. to bring this up. Because he knows who's going to be listening today. Now, I don't know about the rest of them who are technically challenged. I think they were. I, I don't know. But God said, for us who are here today, and those who listen on Facebook, because we do got Facebook up. Uh, I'm trying to keep the, the screen looking at the TV, but for some reason it doesn't do that. I got to put keep a finger on it. But that's all right. God bless them anyway. The, the point is, if, if they tempted God in the wilderness, this scripture right here, Brother Jack, said, don't let us tempt Christ. Right. Wow. Go ahead. Right. Uh, who's, who's next? All right. First Corinthians 10, 10. Oh, you wanted me to? Yeah, do 10. Okay. Yeah, do 10. All All right. Right. Yeah, you're 10, 11. Then. Neither murmur ye, well, as some of them also murmured, well, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Are we hearing something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, they were, the children of Israel was no different from us. They, they, I mean, far as as far as people are concerned, as far as cardinal uh, thinking is concerned, God is sitting there saying, even now for us, anybody listening to this phone, anybody listening to this, on, on this Facebook, do you hear the words that are coming out of our mouth? God is sitting there saying, don't be murmuring and complaining. You need to start praising and seeking his belief that he's going to deliver us. He's going to give us. He's going to get us out of this situation. We are Amen. not supposed to sit there and say, Lord, why did you bring me through this? Right. We should be saying, Lord, take me through. Take you me know, through that, that brings up this, this, uh, this time right now. You know, it, people are, are urged to self-isolate and stay home. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
and it's for their benefit. And yet they're murmuring and complaining and going against what, what these folks are saying and they're out in these streets and stuff. So, you know, this really applies to them as well. Exactly. Because, you know, the fact is that I, I, I saw an article yesterday, Texas is spiking again. Yeah. They're getting a thousand cases. And there's yeah. going to be a whole bunch of other people who, you know, when they really get around a whole lot of people, it's going to be an impact. Yeah. It's, it's the destiny. These, huh? these people complaining, you know, and they, and they don't have uh, COVID-19. They ain't complaining. They ain't complaining. They you know? that, yeah. Good point. Yeah. In other words, they, they, they understand, look, the reason we're doing this is to kill the disease. <laughs> But you want to you want to go ahead and say no? I want to go out. I want to go play. I want to go yeah. back to work. You got people in the factories. I read an article the other day. I don't know if y'all read some other articles. There's some of the other industries, some of these other factories, some of these other plants, some of these other you know having issues too. And they're saying is that we we got to have more protection if we're going to keep if you want us to keep working. Yeah. So mm. I'm just saying that that's the same thing, really. God was trying to say, I got to get you out of bondage. I got to get you out of Egypt so that you can go ahead and understand that I got, I got a plan for you, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me see here, brother. Let me see if I get wielded. So some reason, Elder Dawson, he's there, but he can't, he can't bring his camera and mic on. And uh, I, we got to figure that out. But go ahead, Brother Jackson. But you heard that word murmuring in there, right? Brother Addison, there's that yeah. murmur. And I think that's that's where I'm trying to say God has said, let's let's make sure we're not messing up our blessing. Amen. And keeping us in the wilderness because they stayed in the wilderness for 40 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's too long, Brother Addison. Mm -hmm. 40 years. 40 years. On a 11 day journey, Brother Jackson. 11 day journey. Mm -hmm. Ended up being 40 years. Amen. Amen. But Amen. 40, not 40 days. <laughs> but but you know the, the beauty of it is, is that the, the 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 fix was really simple. Only thing they had to do is keep praising them. Yeah, come on. And, and that's I think that's the task that we have in this life is that regardless of what to praise God is to indicate that you really believe He is who He says. Exactly. We, are, we we exemplify through our praise His ability. Come on, brother. When we complain, it shows our doubt in our God. Mm, mm, mm. And so that, what kind of testimony is that to the world, a person, the people that you're trying to save? If you crying and whimpering and whining all the time, <laughs> and your God's supposed to be God, yeah, it's a bad testimony for him. And right, because he, I think right. that's why he killed them off. Because it's like, hey man, y'all messing up stuff. Y'all supposed to be praising me and drawing people to me. You complaining over here and drawing people running far away. Yeah, and there you go. You run out of people away because you're not, you're not, you're not showing the blessings of being with God. You sure? You said you just basically said, "Man, we should have stayed in Egypt." We should have stayed in bondage. We were good off when we were smoking crack. And if you if you remember, if y'all remember, in, in 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 numbers, there was a point where they met, they were saying, "Man, we had some leech and onions," right. and, and and they were saying they were having a good time. Yep. They and forgot why? they had to put their babies out to die and then they were being beat by a lash and <laughs> they worked till it fell out. They're gonna toss a leech and onions. Yep. Yeah. But we they, do that though. We do that. They but they cause we are they are an example. That scripture y'all know is Christ that kept saying they are examples, aren't they? Yes. Yep. And so I'm just it's just something that says check yourself. So Brother Jackson, you gotta keep going, you gotta get ready to do the communion for Brother Jackson, you gotta go early. Right. Go ahead, bro. Verse, verse 11. Now all these things happen unto them for examples. <laughs> and they are written for our admonition. Wow! Upon whom, the ends, <laughs> amen, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Woo! Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Woo! There have no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. Come on! Amen. The God is faithful. Uh -huh. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Are Hallelujah. You 
I Hallelujah. Really, yeah, it was the last verse there anyway. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, free, flee from idolatry. Come on, brother. <laughs> I think that was the Praise last God. verse there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It, it, it's it's mm -hmm. just saying that we don't want to be caught in the same situation uh, as they were. And, and, and that's what God is trying to tell us. So so I'm leaving you with that, Brother Jackson, because that's what we're going to Let's do the get ready to do the communion. You got your stuff? And I got mine. Grab it real quick. Just take a second. Okay. Let me get mine too. I put it somewhere. Where I put it at? Oh, there it is. So what do you think, Brother Jackson? Amen. That makes sense? Well, it makes a lot of sense. And, you know, the, uh, the, again, the thing is to, you know, when we have in that relationship with the, the Father, um, there are times during the day, and those times are frequent, unfortunately, for me, where, you know, I think it's just me. Uh -huh. But then there are those times when I realize that God is with me. Yes. That his spirit is inside of me. You know, now, sometimes it's, uh, it's acknowledged through a uh, the sunshine blue skies the leaves blowing in the trees something simple maybe a good word um right. you know but you know that's kind of what i'm getting at and the thing about what we read today i think we think we're more sophisticated we think you know our intellect is 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 surpasses those of our brothers of old and sisters of old you know and uh, just like they were people, you know, yes, we are people. We are and people. We need to take heed to the story. Come on. That we will make those same scenarios, uh, you know, repeat those same scenarios, repeat history, just like they did, if we are not uh, Careful. trying to commune with the Father at all times. Right. Right. <laughs> And, and that's what so Joshua well. said, and meditate on the word day and night, right? In other words, uh -huh. we're coming to God for, make me, help me get through this. Lord, I thank you for what you've given me so far. And I'm always knowing that you're going to give me out of this too. I don't mm -hmm. have a problem. He don't have a problem you tell him what the issue is. But he's saying if you're complaining about it. Well, then, you know, then, the, then, go ahead. The, the other thing too is, um, what if he doesn't get us out of it? I think the thing to remember is that he's with us. Yes. So when, like when, Jesus, when Jesus prayed and said, you know, Father, you know, if there's any other way, <laughs> <laughs> but not my will, Woo! my will. And so I think I need to recognize that as well. That yes, hey, sometimes it might be a situation I find myself in that, hey, he's, he, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to get you out of this one. Mm. What I need for you to do is recognize that I'm with you as you go through it and well, give I, me the glory, the honor, and the praise, nevertheless. Yes, sir. Because what's important is what God's got for me on the other side of that trial and that tribulation. Come on, brother. You know? and, yeah. uh, and I praise him because that's what Jesus did. At yes, the end of all, see, when, when Jesus died, we could, I, I, as a matter of fact, I was thinking about it last night. See, to lose everything is, is is we gotta really understand that. It'd be like me losing my house, losing my children, losing my, my finances, losing my reputation, losing my the, 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 the you know the, the physical attributes that I have, beat down, hated by those that you know that that uh, I'm trying to help, losing yeah. everything. Yeah. Dying hmm. for their sakes. Come on. You know? That's what God did for me. That's what that's what he did for me. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, I, 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 mean, I got to recognize, brothers, yeah. you know, and I praise, I praise God for this revelation this morning. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. All right. Now, this here, I, I do have to go. Um, I'm going to try to support uh, my home church this morning. They're trying to do an outdoor service. And uh, so I'm going to try to be there. So if you don't mind, we'll go ahead and start the uh, communion. Amen. Are we all ready? Yes, sir. Amen. Dear Father, let us pray. Dear Father, Lord, we thank you for the message that you have brought to each one of us uh, this morning and to all who hear this message. Yes, Lord. Lord, we realize that every time we hear your word, that Woo! it is meant to, to bring us closer to you. 
yes. to a better understanding, not as the world understands things, dear Father, but as you understand them. And you give this to us in a way that we can receive it if we are willing, if we yes. yield. Lord, thank you for reminding us that we are no different in many ways from our brothers and sisters mm. in Israel Woo. and in Rome. And, and dear Father, what we are to do is to learn from, from their ways, to yes. learn so that we can take these experiences that we have and instead of complaining about where we are and in our situation, that we give you glory, honor, and praise yes. for being there with us. Yes. For Father, your son sacrificed far more sacrifice far more than what we will ever sacrifice in a in a thousand uh, eternities dear lord Come on. yes lord hmm. again we've said it before and we'll say it again that jesus made an impossible way possible because he was the only one yes. that could do what you needed to do he was the only one that could handle your wrath dear father hmm. for our sakes yes so right now jesus as you Explain to the disciples that every time that they come together in fellowship and they take the bread and they take the cup, they wish to do this in remembrance of you. Yes. So right now, Jesus, humbly, we take this bread, we take it and eat it in your memory. In your Hallelujah. Memory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They can eat. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, Lord. And now we take the cup. And dear Jesus, we, we recognize that this is symbolic, but Lord, we know that your blood is real. Yes. And your blood is pure. Yes. And your blood cleanses us all who believe it in you. Yes. And washes us white as snow so that we are pure and that we can then. Yes. We are new creatures. And when the time comes, we can be in the presence of the Father. Yes. And that can only happen because of who you are and you are alive. Yes. And we thank you, dear Jesus, Son of God, Savior of the world. Yes. As you told the disciples, we are to take this cup uh -huh. and we are to drink it in remembrance of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Drink. Amen. Amen. And we thank you, dear Father, for all that you've done for us and all that you will do and help us to be light. Light for the world. Yes. Let people see Jesus in us. And we thank you for the servants that are out there spreading your gospel, dear Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. All right, brothers and thank sisters. Y'all be good. Stay strong right, and stay sir. blessed. You too. Appreciate All you, right. man. All right. God bless. God bless. Hey, Brother Jackson.